Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bravely Second. So we're gonna go into the villa right now. Apparently there was a monster from Caldisla or whatever. We're gonna go defeat it, but before we go, quick tiny update. I went and grinded in the Geyser Grotto where they have like the one place where you are full BP. Great place to grind by the way, if you're looking to grind in this game. Um, but I went and grinded and I got myself fully 99 on everyone. So, I, a couple episodes or maybe last episode I was talking about, hey, maybe I should go get myself... Because, you know, I'm a com you know, completionist type person. So I said, you know what, before I finish the game, I might as well get myself max level. And I thought, you know what, I want to get myself max level before I actually finish the game. Well, I did it. I went ahead and I spent a couple hours there. Got myself to level 99. So everyone is completely maxed out. Their jobs are maxed out. I think I have all the abilities that I want and the equipment's all good. So anyway, it's a little, little update on that. So we technically, we don't need to grind anymore because we are max level. The only thing we need to do is get that last job, which I'm not going to say anything about. That will let us do a little something else. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and go through this dungeon here. Put myself on uh, minus 50% just so I can, um, you know, fight some things because I want to see the type of creatures that are in the building, you know. No reason in not, you know, at least seeing the things inside of here. But yeah, let's go through. I'm I forgot what location this was last game, what it was called last game. But I remember what this is from last game. But it was definitely not called Lantano Villa. This is something new to me here. Alright, let's see. What do we got? We got a bunch of goblins, it seems. And I'll use my command set that I used for grinding right here. Excuse me. I have to do a little sneeze there. But yeah, um... I'll just have... You know, and we're not going to do these extra battles. But yeah, you can see everyone's level 99, so um, there's no really reason to grind anymore. But right now I have auto battle, the move set that I was using to actually grind with, which is basically just Adia having four attacks, Tiz using some Auroras, um, Magnolia using the free lunch and amped strike, and who's the last person I didn't mention? And, oh, yes, and then you just using Meteor Rain, basically. Alright, more goblins. Is goblins the only thing in here? Well, I guess we'll see, but... Yeah, this place probably would have been a great place to grind if I wasn't already max level. But... Okay. Yeah, this place would... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try it where I'll do a multi-battle just to see <clears throat> maybe how far I can get. But, we'll see. Okay, a heart ring. That's quite a bit, but not, I don't think, enough for me to do that. Not, oh, okay, not gonna lie for a second that I totally spaced out and I was lost. I'm like, wait, where am I going? Yeah, idea. Oop, I accidentally clicked next challenger, so we're gonna have to do another one. Are these just goblins, though? If it's just goblins, I might just... Ooh, that was 10,000 P just from that one fight. It's actually pretty crazy good. Okay, so we're on the second level, right? Well, then before we go there, let me just quickly check out what's in the basement here. I want to know what's down here. Oh, it's just the chest. Okay, perfect. Give me something good. 99 carbine. Okay, that's probably a pretty good weapon for the... Hawkeye? Yes, Hawkeye. First again, I was like, is it Sharpshooter? What is that job called again? It's a Hawkeye. Which, honestly, that was a pretty... That class intrigued me. I kind of wanted to play it, but... It didn't really have many good, like... Synergy? Synergy things? Or, you know, it wasn't, like, crazy strong in itself, so... I just never ended up using it, you know? That's what, like, basically happened, um my knight too i really liked the knight but it just ended up not really doing anything its main purpose was to like protect people and it honestly if, if i was gonna die by anything it'd be like the mass spells which the knight can't protect from anyway so it's like it didn't really like you know it wasn't really useful the only times it really came in like really big use is if everyone got wiped usually the knight would be the last one standing which would be cool but at that same time, the knight didn't have a lot of speed, so 
you know, I would try to have to revive everyone, but usually the knight would get hit again before it can do anything. So it's like, okay, well, even that aspect then, it wasn't really like, you know, didn't help all that much. Let's grab this. Aegis shield. Okay, that's probably, once again, pretty good shield. Probably not better than the one we bought from Chompshire, but that's probably a pretty good shield. I guess let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to fight the ball straight up. Okay, so we are on... That is the entire dungeon. Okay, that was quicker than I thought it would be. I guess I didn't have too many encounters on, but... Yeah. Is that... Say, I don't... It's a ball! This can't be! It's exuding a level of power on par with... No! Even exceeding Diamantes! Yet there's been no word from Thothloon. Did it penetrate the moon's defenses? No, Appleberry would never let that happen. This is no time for panic, Magnolia. There's a ball in front of us, and we have to defeat it. That's all that matters right now. Right, let's focus on the battle before us. We can't let any sacrifice be in vain. Not now, not ever. Is everyone ready? Let's do it. We're coming for you. Fall the first. Turtle Dove! Turtle Dove it is. Let's do this. Okay. That's an interesting looking ball. Let's go ahead and default, default, default. Default. Okay, that didn't hit. Oh, we're also level 99 now, so I'm guessing it should be quite a bit easier, too. Break. Let's default again here. Uh, what does that even do? I don't know what that does, but it scares me a little bit. Let's go ahead and do a benediction mist. At the same time, let's go ahead and do a let's do a stat status ailment mist, because if that if this is what this ball does, it works with status ailments, then that will just completely shut it down. But I also have a feeling that Adia might actually just straight up kill it this turn right now. Let's do it in infinity and then just do some attacks. I feel like Adia's just gonna kill it outright. Yeah, it. So let's see what this let's see what happens. Okay, so 999, but now her hit count is up even higher than it would be. Yeah, so let's Oh, that was it? Oh, she's gonna come in after. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, she's not doing a crazy amount of damage actually, so. Why is... Does that mean you can only attack when Idea attacks? Is that what happens? I'm confused on what that move actually does here. But whatever it is, hopefully that status ailment... Wait, that probably doesn't fix love, does it? I don't think it will. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, that literally did nothing. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and do a Meteor Rain. Meteor Rain. Um, let's do a, a Resurrect Mist. Magnolia, let's go hit some Amp Strikes. And then with Adia, let's do the Raise Hit Count. And then do some more attacks. There we go. Okay, see now it's she's hitting like 27. Oh, and there goes the ball. Okay, and we're max leveled, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> that, that was ridiculous. Not that bad. It was stronger than any ball I've ever seen. What's happening in Caldisla? First our memories, now this ball? I don't know, but we have learned one thing. Luxendark still isn't free from the threat of the balls. Au contraire, the threat is greater than ever. This ball made it past the moon's defenses almost entirely unscathed. This is Magnolia. We confirmed the presence of a new ball. We dispatched it at once, but... Impossible! We haven't let any balls through! I suspected as much. 
Somehow it eluded the moon's scanners entirely. Preposterous! No ball has ever slipped through Fort Loon's defense system undetected. Until now. This demands an investigation. This may not be an isolated incident. As a citizen of the moon, I have a duty to protect Luxendark. That's right! Ballbuster Magnolia Arch will not take this threat sitting down! Understood. We are counting on you, Magnolia. I'm sorry, everyone. It looks like I'll be needing your help just a little bit longer. Don't be sorry. We'll help you for as long as you need. Yeah. There's no way we're letting these balls have their way with Lux and Dark. Not after all we've done. Merci, mes amis. Are you okay, Tiz? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> Sir Tiz, how fare thee? Oh, Egil. <clears throat> the dread beast that beset the villa has been slain. Seriously? Man, Tiz, you really are a hero. My friends, can you hear me? Your Holiness. Huh? Is that Ines's voice? Where is she? Right in here. Say hello, Egil. Uh, what? How'd she get stuck in there? Uh, Ines, uh, I never knew a person could be shrugged so small. What are you doing here, Tiz? You gotta get her out of there. <laughs> oh, Egil, have you been well? I, 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 yeah, wait, you're not in trouble? <laughs> not any longer. Agnes, what's going on? I heard about your troubles in Keldisla, or I should say, I remembered. So you'd forgotten Keldisla too? I cannot explain these recent events, but they could have grave implications for our future. I am traveling to Keldisla as we speak. Let us meet with the king together. Certainly, Your Holiness. We'll meet you at the castle. Whoa! Where'd she go? So it's some kind of... communication device? Whoa! That's so high-tech! Okay. Um, so it looks like we're done as far as here goes. Let's go ahead and uh, just teleport Stone out of here, make things easy for everyone. Don't have to walk. Ooh, tent event. You absolutely love tent events. <sighs> that was great. More like totally delicious. You've become a real master chef, Magnolia. Vraiment? You're so kind. Didn't you learn a new recipe from Sakura just the other day? She did. It started with Alfred's recipe, remember? Then you got Martha at the dorms to share her secrets. You're practically a culinary expert now. <laughs> anyway, I had better clean up. I'll help. Merci. But it's quite all right. I believe the cook should also clean up. Oh, I'm so stuffed I can hardly move. I'm just gonna conk out right here. You shouldn't sleep right after eating, you know. Yeah, well, what happened to eat, sleep, and be merry, huh? That's, um, eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we die. What? Who's dying? <laughs> no one, we hope. Which is why we don't want you sleeping on a full stomach. <sighs> anyway. We'll be back on the rub dub soon. I can't wait to have a good long soak. I love the bath oil Sakura adds. The aromas are so refreshing. She has so many different kinds, too. Rose, orange blossom, pomegranate, wild fig and ginger, and even champagne. Yes, sir. I could stay in the baths all day and night, looking up as the sun gives way to the stars. Yep. Soaking in a warm bath from dawn to dusk. Wouldn't that be the life? Heh! <laughs> Did you say warm water? Are you completely nuts? A bath has to be so hot you can barely stand it. Then when it feels like you can't breathe anymore, you jump out and douse yourself with cold water. That's a real bath. So all that splashing and shrieking coming from the ladies' bath was you. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Idi is on the mark. I mean, sitting in a warm bath for hours is nice, but it does get a bit boring. Exactly. What's the point if you just end up dozing off? But don't you get tired leaping in and out of water that's either too hot or too cold? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not tiring. It's, it's refreshing. Especially when you cap it off with... An ice-cold latte! Exactly. Knocking back an ice latte so cold you can barely taste it. <sighs> or you could just have a coffee. Sir, coffee and cafe latte are completely different. You! I think I can finally understand you. And I you, my dear Idia. Alright, fun little cutscene. They're usually pretty funny. Okay, I think we have to head back to Caldisla, right? So, let's go ahead and, uh... Ooh, let's give the moon an update real quick, because I still have been working on this. I, are we maxed out? Is everything maxed out? I think we finished the moon, right? Ten? Every Everything is ten. I think we officially maxed out the moon. We'll probably get a... Yeah, we'll probably get a party chat. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna sneeze. Then we're gonna read it. Okay, you ready? We'll come... Ooh, okay, what a sneeze. Alright, time for party chat. Fort Loon, reborn. Well, Magnolia, how does it look? Why, yes, I believe that should do it. Are you sure? Let's look at the map one more time. Let me see. Yes, yes, there, there can be no doubt. Fort Loon is... Yes, today Fort Loon is... Today Fort Loon is reborn. Congratulations, Magnolia. There, there, Magnolia. Here's a handkerchief. Uh, who can blame me to? It's an emotional day. Here, here. Tissues for the both of you. It was our pleasure. And remember, it wasn't just us. All our new friends who came to this world pitched in too. You're right. You have my thanks, all of you, from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so there we go. That is the moon done. Honestly, the moon was a lot less helpful in this game than it was in the last, but... Hey. Um, yeah. What are we at recording? Okay, we're on like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's uh, head up to the king. It's nighttime, so realistically the king should be sleeping, but I think we can still go talk to him. I don't think it'll matter. Let's just waltz right into the building here. Your Holiness, you're already here. Caldusla disappeared from our memories. Only to appear again, all of a sudden. Something is amiss here. Indeed. And the king has just shared with me an equally disturbing tale. Do tell. Hmm. For those of us on the outside, it was as though Caldisla suddenly returned to our memories. But for the people of this land, it was the existence of the rest of the world which came back to them only now. Hmm. A most curious state of affairs indeed. It is weird. I ask of you, Vestal of Wind, uh, uh, beg pardon, your holiness. I would hear <laughs> your counsel. Whatever should I and my kingdom do? So, that's right, she was only your a Vestal highness, back then. I thank you for welcoming me back to Caldisla with such warmth. As for your question, I'm glad your arm's feeling better. My arm? Yes, it's fine. That's a load off. Seeing you run about all the time, sometimes I get worried. I'm simply doing my duty. I do not find it a burden. So come on, spill it! Did you find out anything about Yoko? Yoko? What are you... Well, what do you think, Idia? Huh? I think, uh... uh... Sorry, what are we talking about? Honestly, idiot, this is a serious meeting between world leaders. We were discussing how the balls might be appearing. Never mind how they appear. We don't even know where they come from. That's true. And even if we did know, something is clearly different this time. 
There are just too many things we don't understand about these balls. I'm sorry. I should know more. Don't be so hard on yourself, Magnolia. It's not your fault. Our heroes, surely you must be exhausted after such a harrowing battle. Pray, stay the night and rest yourselves. Fair enough. Bum, 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 bum. Quelle deception! And I call myself a ball buster. What do I truly know about the balls? I never even thought to ask. Please, don't blame yourself, Magnolia. I'm no better. I knew nothing about the true Crystal Guard. Nothing about my own brother. You. Thank you. Oh, there must be someone out there who can give us a clue, right? Do not judge a carrot by its leaves, nor a man by his words alone. True value is rarely apparent on the surface you'll find. My young friends, it would seem you have questions about the balls, and I may very well have answers. It is well, cum si cum sa. Would you start with the good news or the bad? Bad. Oh, this never ends well. All right, give us the good news first. The good news is that, yes, I have finally uncovered the truth behind the balls. Ah, la vache, you have? And what is it? Probably the bad news, huh? I'm afraid that brings us to the bad news. I believe, no, I am convinced, that the balls are the unresolved feelings of my dearest Vega given life. C'est horrible! How can this be? Vega was your beloved, no? The one you left behind in the celestial realm? The same. And the balls that threatened to destroy Luxendark. As much as I am loath to admit it, they were born of our shared memories. Your memories created the balls? How is that even possible? It is only a theory, but... I believe that Vega even now harbors feelings of deep yearning and remorse. And that someone, something, has seized upon these emotions, giving them physical form as weapons of mass destruction. What a monster! Manipulating someone's feelings for such a terrible purpose! You can say that again. So, uh, this means that the balls come from the Celestial Realm? That would be the only reasonable assumption. That settles it. Altair, let's go to the Celestial Realm and save Vega from this nightmare. Oh, a most kind offer you. And yet I fear it is not so simple. I too long to see my Vega again. So I searched and searched for a way to reach the Celestial Realm. To no avail. We'll just have to keep trying then. Never say never until you're dead. <laughs> a sentiment I shared, my dear you. Which is why I kept trying, kept searching, until my death. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I, I didn't mean... A joke, my dear boy, a joke! <laughs> so you're just going to give up? You've carried on all these years in the hopes of seeing Vega again. Now you're just going to accept how things are? Oh, of course I do not accept it. How could I accept my beloved being used as an instrument of destruction? I want to help her with all my heart, I do, and yet... Uh, uh, my, my friends, uh, might I beseech your aid? But, whoa, why so formal? Of course you can. Magnolia here is a ballbuster, after all. And even if I weren't, I would help. Anyone who'd use another's love for the purpose of evil deserves to get theirs. Right. You've been our friend from the start, Altair. We've been through so much together, we're not giving up on you now! Your... friend? Oh, thank you, my dear children! As a matter of fact, I unearthed a new clue since coming to this place. A fairy named Anna. 
right. It was as if Diamante was under her control. And she mentioned something about her master, didn't she? I think we've seen enough to know that she's involved up to her eyeballs. Then our course of action is clear. Search out Anna, my young friends. With all my heart. Bon chance. Okay. So they think <clears throat> Anna, the fairy, is like working with her master to, br to send these balls, maybe? Okay, we're here at the... At the chasm. Is that where they're sending us to go? Okay, so N is at the chasm. Fair enough. I guess that's where we head to. <laughs> so there was a path between Lux and Dark and the Celestial Realm right here. What a delightful surprise. I've been having so much fun taking out the moon that I never even thought to look for one. But this changes everything. <laughs> Why, from a place like this, I can summon balls and balls galore. Those loonies can't do a thing for Lux and Dark if my balls come through here. They'll be pumped and primed for battle. And not only that, oh no, it might even be possible for my lord to descend upon Lux and Dark from here. The only fly in the ointment is you, Jenny Olja, and his stupid friends. They've interfered with me every step of the way. Why, they've even recovered memories from alternate dimensions. That's basically cheating, you know. How are they doing it? Is it that hourglass they have? No, that alone wouldn't explain it. Ugh. What is their little secret? Okay, guys, we're going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.